Stephen Square at Baxter Woods is Portland, Maine's 55-plus active lifestyle community. Its 19-acre campus offers low-maintenance living in modern condominiums with underbuilding parking. Direct access to the 30-acre Mayor Baxter Woods Preserve, the largest undisturbed forest in the city. The historic Mother House, a former convent that's been restored to its original glory. And the 52,000 square foot Stephen Square Community Center, a former school transformed to include a health, wellness, and fitness center with an indoor pool, a cafe, a 480 seat auditorium, a gymnasium, and other compatible service businesses. Stephen Square was created using the principles of smart growth development. Smart growth development essentially, it's a lot of things, but it's essentially responsible land use putting things in the right place where they make sense. The land, how we organize ourselves on the land is important to how efficient that land ends up being used. So it's very possible to take a piece of land and generate the highest return on it and not really care about the community and not really care about the traffic. And if people can pay rent to you or people can buy it from you, then do it. That's kind of the dominant thinking in the free market in terms of land use. But what Smart Growth says is Smart Growth says, jobs really ought to be near housing. People ought to be able to live near where they work. If you're going to build new things, you should build it where infrastructure already is. If there's already a road there, if there's already a sewer line, if there's already power to that area, build there. Don't build out in a greenfield where you have to extend all that new infrastructure that then has to be maintained year after year after year. And that kind of dovetails nicely with the idea of reusing buildings and redo, redoing historic spaces because those spaces are built in places where people already were. So that's why I've redone a lot of old schools, convents like the Mother House and buildings like this building is because they're in established neighborhoods. That's much more attractive to me than building a new neighborhood out in a greenfield. Stephen Square at Baxter Woods is located at the heart of Portland in historic, walkable Deering Center. When you talk about Portland and condos, all the energy and the default is on peninsula, on peninsula, nightlife, restaurants, you know, the, what makes Portland great, what makes it the top 10 in all these different lists nationally. And I think that Portland is so much more than the old port. And this is a neighborhood that's still very central to everything, but it's a neighborhood. It's not, there's not gonna be a lot of noise from the bars at night. You don't have to worry about having enough parking. At the same time, there's so much green space and so much energy and, and there's a core here at Deering Center to build on and there's, a, there's markets and all these different things and all the green space. So to me, that's what makes it just a little bit different than anything out there on the market today. It has the best parts of Portland, but it also has, it can actually offer things Old Port Camp. Creating a community where everything you need is right nearby is a key component of smart growth, decreasing the need to drive everywhere and bringing a host of social benefits. You know, if you don't have to drive everywhere, it's better for you, it's better for the environment, and uh, it makes for a more lively place. If we are driving everywhere and we're just getting in, parking, getting out of our car, going in a store, coming back out, driving to the next place, that doesn't, um, first of all, it's not particularly healthy. Um, it's not particularly good for the environment, but really in terms of placemaking, when you think of a place, all the places that you really wanna be, sure, some of them are rural, a mountaintop. You know, the woods, those things are, when I, but when I'm talking about places that people gather and congregate, the thing that makes them active is that you can walk from place to place and you're not necessarily going just destination to destination, A to B, like in a car. When you're in a car, you don't have the chance to happen upon something. But when you're walking from your house to the gym or when you're walking down to the market at the corner, you may have four interactions on the way and you may see a storefront that you'd always wanted to go in and you duck your head in or you may meet some people, you may make a new friend, uh, your dog may make a new friend. You know, all those things happen when you're walking that don't happen when you're driving. So it's a, it's a place-making thing, I think, more than anything else.